Hello, this is Ike from Spotter Home London, and today we're in East London. We're in Bethnal Green, and we're only about a 10 minute walk away from the station with the Central Line. Now, with this area, Bethnal Green is fantastic, especially if you are a work professional looking to stay in Central London or very close to it, as we are one stop away from Liverpool Street Station. We've got a bank after that. Central London, Oxford Circus, a few stops after that. So, great location if you're looking to even just go and be a tourist in Central London. And as for the shopping and convenience, we do have a Sainsbury's right outside of the station. So if you need to go out and get some food quickly, then that's going to be right around the corner. Now with that said, I'm going to be showing you the whole apartment and the whole apartment is going to be for rent. There are three bedrooms in total. So let's go ahead and see them. So now here's outside. We are on the fourth floor. So down below is just a parking lot. And then we'll see all of the other apartments beside us and then to the left we'll have the steps. Now as we step into the flat we can see the second bedroom directly in front of us. Coming down to the left we'll have the first bedroom and then the kitchen and then right here is the toilet. So the toilet is going to be inside of the toilet, of course. And inside of here, we'll have the window as well. And then we can see the light up above. So that's the toilet. To the left is the kitchen, but around to the right, we'll have the bathroom. So it's going to be separate from the toilet. It's quite convenient. To the left, the bathtub. And then in front of us, we'll get a sink and then a mirror right in front of the window. So then we also have so then there's also storage out in the corridor. So we've got a shelf in there and then a space to perhaps hang some jackets. Maybe you can store a mop bucket or a hoover there, some cleaning products, and then additional storage up above. So now, as for the kitchen, it's absolutely spectacular, as it's all very clean. We can see that as the countertops are shining. Down to the right, we'll get the dining table. In this corner, fridge, and then the freezer down below. So we've got some space there for you to store all of your food, keep it cold. We've got some drawers up above to keep any items you may want to store inside of the kitchen. So you can store some plates, food, pots, pans. And we also have some drawers for cutlery. Now as for the appliances, we've just seen the fridge and freezer. We also have the stove, the kettle, and then on the other side we get the microwave, down below a washing machine, and oven. So the sink as well, and then here is some more space for plates and glasses and mugs. Now this door leads to bedroom number one, but there's no handle, so there's not gonna be access through this door. So we'll see bedroom number one right now. Now this is the biggest and most spacious of the rooms. This room features a double bed to the right. We'll have a chair, a couch on the left side, right beside the standalone wardrobe which is number one of two in this room. So this one features a shelf and then we've got the rail underneath to hang your clothes. Also, we can see some racks behind the wardrobe. So you can use that to dry your clothes after they're done in the wash. Some slight shelving here. We've got the coffee table and then the view of the ceiling looks like that got a radiator right beneath the window and outside we'll be able to see the basketball court 
and the road as well as the Sainsbury's. Now this wardrobe is a slightly different. We can hang our clothes here and then down below we have two drawers. So moving on we'll see bedroom number two next. This bedroom also has a double bed. We get a built-in wardrobe this time, and then a chest of drawers next to that, and then the desk next to the radiator and window. We get a similar view, and then a view from this side. Looks like this, we'll just see the space inside of the wardrobe. So we've got a shelf up top, and then you can hang your clothes down below. In addition to that, we get storage up here. And can't forget to mention that we do have a nice armchair here too, so you could sit down. Next, the final bedroom, or well, before that there is a radiator in the corridor to allow for some extra heat. Now inside of this bedroom, we'll get a double bed, some shelving in the far left corner, and then a built-in and standalone. So now the window, again, a radiator beneath that, as well as the armchair. Same view. And then a view from this side of the room looks like this. Got the ceiling up there. And then the built-in will be the same as the last built-in we've just seen. And then this wardrobe looks like this. So same thing. And then inside of this final wardrobe, we get this. So that's been it for this three bedroom apartment in the Bethnal Green area. I've been Ike and I hope you've enjoyed this apartment and for more information, make sure to check out spotterhome.com. Bye-bye.